Hello everyone, and welcome back to Paranoia Escape. Today we're doing stage two. There's more to do here. A lot more, actually. It, uh, it gets interesting now. Before it was really weird, you know, notice all that shit, but, uh, now we go into an area where, uh, it gets really fucked up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, stage two. So, we appear to be inside of a beast or something, and, uh, there is a heart, I guess, or bladder. Now, you might notice that, uh, the ball sunk into some kind of a hole there. Yeah, remember, this is a pinball game, so there's gonna be pinball elements everywhere. So, be wary of them. Sometimes, they can be very useful for you. So, um... Yeah, what we have to do here, I believe, is destroy that heart. And, uh, yeah, it just melts. So once that's destroyed, uh, well, there's more of these guys, but really we can just go past them. We don't have to kill them. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, forget about this guy and walk forward. Now we're inside the stomach, I guess? And our next Mini boss a barrier. I I don't know what this thing is, but we have to kill it anyway. And we're near some lungs, so Oh, oh no! Red pills! Oh god. We gotta avoid those red pills. We don't wanna enter the matrix. God knows what we'll find there. We're doing a good job so far. I mean, the lungs don't ever get killed, but this fucker will. Oh no. One of our skeletons got hit by one of the pills. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh no. They've been hit by the pills. Well... Because we got hit by the pills, but we did indeed beat the boss, we might as well see how far the rabbit hole goes. Because, uh, on to stage 2 2. First, some Japanese text, because it's gonna be there. And then. Nerves. Mm hmm. We're going down that rabbit hole badly. <laughs> but hey, my favorite song is playing now. The theme song. So this one's pretty straightforward. Because all you have to go is forward. Yep, there's an exit. And all we gotta do is get to it. But uh, guess what the exit's blocked by? If you guessed another boss, congratulations, you're correct. Stage 2 is boss heavy, so get ready. This boss is actually a bit difficult. He shoots both bees and, I believe, bullets right at you. And he'll move around, too. Now again, no matter how many brains you have, no matter how many balls you have, if you lose all your health, it's instant game over. So you have to dodge those bullets, and you have to dodge those bees. Uh, the bees, by the way, will pretty much stop you in your tracks as well as hurt you. So you do not want to get stunned. After a few hits, this guy will die, so... Yeah. I honestly don't know where we are, by the way. It looks like it's like the spine, but... I honestly think it's a beast, but I have no idea what the, what the beast could be. So, now I'll go in forward to 
the first boss of stage two. Yeah. Oh, and look, it's the uh, the level selects music. Another one of my favorite songs in this game. So, uh, this guy takes a while to beat, if you haven't noticed. Um, he takes out the majority of this part, in fact. Uh, let me explain what this guy is. He is a face on a bunch of pedestals, I guess, in, like, this bricked room. And, uh, he's hit points the face, but... He shoots these teeth at you, and the thing about these teeth is that when you get hit by the teeth, or when the ball hits the teeth, it kind of stuns you. So, um, yeah, the ball can get stopped by the teeth, and that can be a problem. But that's not all. I bet you've already seen this right now, but our viewpoint's not only going left and right, it's also randomly going down and up. We can't hurt this guy if it's down or up. We have to be, like, in the middle, so... Yeah, we can't do anything until it goes back to the middle if it's going up or down. Which wastes time. And this guy can either go far away from us or very close to us. And if he gets very close, we don't get much room to actually both defeat him and keep our ball. So unless you have a lot of balls, you're going to die. A lot. This is a tough boss battle. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be doing this one a lot. Just so you can beat this asshole. Like I did. Yeah, it takes a lot of hits, so, uh... Get ready. It won't be a fun boss battle. But luckily, you have basically been the hardest boss in the game. So, everything else won't be that bad. So, have some Japanese text. It's on the stage 2 free. Infected. Okay, so now we're in some kind of tunnel, which we can just go forward through. There's only one enemy that's here, and we can just go past them. Once we're here, though, this is where we gotta take our time. Sort of. This is the straightforward level. There are no bosses. Just go forward. There's a few bones in the way and all, but overall, just keep going forward and you'll beat the level. I'm not even kidding. Like... This is a pretty easy level, just like the first level in stage one. So, after you beat this level, it's on to the actual stages boss. And, uh, here's the game over music, but, uh, this is our boss. A giant blue brain with a, uh, ghostly parasite on it. That that's the most sense I can make out of this one. Um, he's actually pretty easy. Because of that. Uh, you have no ball, but his shots you can reflect. So, this looks like you shot right back at him. He takes some damage, and he does take some time. But, uh... Oh, by the way. You can't kill him by doing that. But yeah, he isn't that hard. And by the way, this little room here voltates. Now it's gonna voltate to where there's three holes. The middle one is the hardest one to actually get any kind of hit on him. So, good luck. He appears a lot here too. All I can say is try and get close enough to him while you keep spamming the triggers to well, hit him back. 
he'll move like this too, which basically means it's going to spin. So, again, just wait it out. Once it's like this though, left and right only. Okay, it's in the middle again. I don't think the left and right one ever comes back. I haven't actually gone that. Well, if it's on the right or left, here's my strategy on the left and right sides. Choose one trigger. If it's left, choose the right trigger. If he's right, choose the left trigger. It will always reflect right back at him. And it will always hit him if you get it right. And you'll see me do it right here. You can basically nail this fucker down to death by doing this. So he's not a tough boss, but as long as you know the trick, he will never be tough. So, after some Japanese text, we're now done with stage 2, and we're on to the final stage, stage 3. Because this is only 3 parts. So, next time, we do stage 3, starting with Forgotten. See you next time, guys.